In this session, we will see the role of temperature in lithium-ion batteries. So exactly why is temperature effect of battery pack so important? So temperature of the battery pack directly impacts first is the electrochemical reactions. Lower is the temperature, that much resistance occurs in the reactions and leads to energy loss in heating due to sluggish type of electrochemistry in lower temperatures. Second is the efficiency of the pack. At very low temperatures as well as at very high temperatures, efficiency of the pack drastically reduces. Third is the charge acceptance. While charging, if the temperature is not maintained because of internal resistance, the temperature can go beyond the safe limit. Fourth is the power and energy availability. We can't draw power if your pack is not maintained at right temperature. You can draw power but not extra or excess power out of the battery pack if temperature is not within limit. Fifth is the safety and reliability. This is of very great concern. Let's say if we are not keeping the battery within operating limits, it may lead to thermal runaway and hazardous situation. Also to increase cycle life of the batteries, it should be kept within optimal temperatures. You know the battery pack accounts for almost 50% of the upfront cost of the vehicle. So to reduce overall cost of ownership, battery should be extended to maximum of its life which is done by keeping it under ambient conditions. Now what does exactly the optimal limit means? You can see in the graph variation of power with temperature. So below 15 degrees Celsius, the electrochemistry becomes sluggish and power drops down as well as resistance increases. Beyond 35 degrees, the rate of degradation becomes very fast. That means your cycle life will come down drastically. So we always try to run the battery pack between 15 to 35 degrees Celsius. So at high temperatures, primary consideration is life, safety that is thermal runaway and non-uniform aging effects. So here cooling is required during hot environment, secondly in moderate to large current demands and lastly fast charging. At low temperatures, primary consideration is the performance because of the sluggish chemistry and damage due to charging too fast. And in such cases, heating is required so to bring in the range of 15 to 35. So the role of temperature in controls is of utmost importance and this is handled by BMS that we are going to see in the upcoming session.